we live? Are we live to the new and improved Twitch? I'm being sarcastic. Hope you guys can figure that out. Man. Did it escalate quickly on the last uh, stream. Marcus killed some folks. Uh... If you guys just heard that, my mom is yelling at people on Facebook that can't even hear her. I don't think Amanda likes us guys because she seems disappointed in everything we do. I mean, admittedly, we do keep fucking up with Connor. Connor, I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I'll remember that, Amanda. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I am definitely perturbed. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviance. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. 
Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight yeah, through my bad. 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast them. Message live, then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped to a parish. Jeez. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. We found the body of an android on the roof. Broadcast by the Deviants. It's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. <laughs> Whatever. The FBI would be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you...
This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Hmm. We're we keeping things hidden from uh, Anderson. Break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Connor? Yo, what's up, girl? What's on that How is my Jericho this evening? That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? Sorry. Oh, it's the cop on the roof in the beginning. We saved his life. Couldn't be you. That Connor was destroyed. Yeah, the first Connor saved his life. That's why he doesn't remember. Connor saved my life. Even if it wasn't you. Yo, what's up, Brandon? And Mary, if you're there as well, how are y'all tonight? I, I'm guessing I probably missed y'all scream, didn't I? Because of freaking work. So, Brandon... I watched John Wick 4. Uh, holy shit. That's all I got to say. Well, tomorrow and Thursday I'll be off, so tell her she better scream for me. I'm trying to remember which one was the Deviant, because I think it's the same... Well, damn, they're all the... State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. 
Okay. So, if I remember correctly, there's Mary, the Hufflepuff herself. The only Hufflepuff I will not bully. Ah, you know fucking Brian. I love fucking him, man. Fucking Connor's the shit. He is hilarious. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. He needs to be in more games. In this room. Hell, I want a Detroit too. Deviants are hard to freaking guess, man. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece. Ah, it's him! It's him! He looked! You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroy! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Knew it. Oh, shit. Hey, a little help. God, I can't make Connor die again. This is crazy. That son of a bitch. I fucking knew it. I don't know if I could some way stop him from attacking me. Come on, I only got a minute. You know, if that fucking deviant was smart, he would have just smashed my damn shit. That way I couldn't have revived myself. Love me again, cause I saved his life again. Good thing you were here, otherwise I. Ah oh, shit! Damn it! Connor, no. Dude, I'm just fucking Connor up in this shit. That's the third time I've died! Damn it! But I have such shitty luck with Connor. My first playthrough, I like, he lit for the entire thing. The first fucking model. Damn it! I'm 
legit sad. I'm probably gonna get fired now from Amanda. She's like, you died too many times, bro. You're fired. She already said she wanted to replace me. Hello? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. Oh, shit! Away. Shout out to Jerrica for gifting really four subs. We hit our goal of five. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I love you. I was told you could help. I just seen the notification on my phone. Thank you so much. I could hug you, and just for that, for gifting subs, you don't even gotta use your points or anything. Lola getting treats. You hear the bag? You hear the bag? She's getting them. She's right beside me too. Shout out to Jerrica again. Thank you so much. Jerrica, you're so fucking awesome. You don't have a choice. Let me snoop around this girl's house. I'm gonna let y'all know real quick. The girl's house that we at, she is hook. I might simp a little, y'all just watch out. Okay, it's got a little, okay, call girl. Okay. I'm cold, Cara. We'll get inside. Can we get some hype in the chat? For the subs! I'm trying to make sure I get everything that's outside, like all the, the little... Because I feel like I miss a lot of stuff on these games. I know I already don't have all the books, because you're supposed to get all the books. Oh, girl, you about to kill me. What's your name? Alice. And she's cute as fuck, too. God. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. I feel like I recognize her actress, though. Adam, Adam, will you show them up? Damn! Here? Y'all see that thing? Like, just fucking plot on me and just in me now. Good God. Oh my God! Sam, you have entered? Oh my God, you're very rare. Did you know that? I don't think I've ever seen you in these parts. Welcome. Let's just take a moment to appreciate that thing thing. And she cooking too? Dude, I want to marry her. Yeah, Sam has never been here. Shout out. I'm just giving her name out like it's nothing. Why will it not let me look at the book? I want to read the book. How are you today? You platinum whore, you. You got so many platinums, I'm jealous. I'm also just lazy as fuck. Dude, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm so distracted. Like, first I, I wanted to, uh, 
Oh, is she mad at me? She let go of my hand. Okay, follow Adam upstairs. Play. Okay. Dude, we're always putting Alice to bed. She's like forever sleeping. This girl like lives to sleep. Yo! Jacker, you're going crazy, girl! Thank you! Thank you for the gifted sub. Yo, I'm about to cry. Y'all know I never asked for anything, like, for real. Like, I appreciate the fuck out of you, Jericho. Thank you. I'm not crying. Someone put, someone put onions in this shit. Dude, did you, did you know that you're, like, really fucking intimidating, just following me everywhere? I need some better emotes. I never understood, like... No, I can't say that yet. Because I don't want to spoil stuff for people who haven't, you know, played the game and stuff. So I'm going to be quiet. Right there again! Holy shit! Oh my god, I never noticed him like following us like so behind. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We can do so apparently Okay. I don't know if they said that, but apparently our next goal is ten subs. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared. If we make it to that, I will fucking, like, I'll definitely do a giveaway. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not sure when it would be, but I'll definitely do one. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on I wish I had some of Rose's famous There's spaghetti, and that's not even a dirty innuendo. I just, I want some spaghetti right I'll now. I'll get these washed and dried. See? Couple minutes in the chat and Sam's already corrupted me. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Don't give me that look, Jericho. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> Jerica, I think she corrupted you too. So you're in this with me. We're all fucked. This house is so, like, homely. Like, I just feel, like, peaceful inside this room. Yo, I think Jerrica's in the lead in, like, gift-giving. And, like, chats and emotes posted. You know what? I'd, I'd fuck this house, too. And, and, uh... Rose, I just feel like I need to put that out there in case no one didn't realize that I would totally bang Rose on there. Even if she killed me, I, I do not mind. We all have our kinks, right? Oh, I get to go talk to Rose. I mean, this is an 18 and plus... 
Scream. Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. I really should send Lola to bed because she's not old enough. She shouldn't be hearing her dad talk like this. So are you gonna tell me what a demon? But is she's always beside me. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Oh! Adam and I are single. single. We, we grow vegetables to sell at the market. The market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. There's always food on the table, y'all. Why are you helping us? Y'all, she's fucking we perfect. Hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. Oh, you know, every time Alice is on the screen, she like I instantly really feel sad. Cause like her life is totally right, shit. Like it radiates yes. off her even from the okay. game. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! 
And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Yo, who the fuck you bumping into, bro? You lucky I don't smash you with my robot arms, fucker. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Hell yeah, 10 out of 10, I can read the book now. World War III. Who would win it? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. That is fucking terrifying. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Trojan and Mirrodin cyber life units, which are specially adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through solid ice. Again, it's fucking terrifying. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council Territorial Dispute, has described both U.S. and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. Well, that was depressing. Walk around, look around. And I got for uh, for future references. I need to remember that's there. Widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast. I really did a number at that tower, didn't I, guys? Public screens. It... Let's just say I like the role play. So my Marcus is always the same. Oh no. Yo, she is fine. It's the police. I'll give her your number. Hide evidence of deviance. They know we're here. Close that. We have to open the door. Uh, or is that? Gotta hide this outfit. Hide this. Bro, you the one probably called the police. You freaking out. Hurry, sir. take Alice and hide. Uh, um, uh, 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 shit. Oh fuck, did I send him to the wrong place? Uh... Uh... I'm freaking the fuck out! What the fuck do I do? If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm? This is bringing me back to Walking Dead vibes. Oh shit. Am I missing anything? Uh. I'm probably fucked anyway. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. 
Evening, young man. Good evening. We taking bets that I fuck up or not? Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. Thank no, you, Sam. Cool. <laughs> I've never gotten caught here. I just, I, I need to say that. There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Glad I turned that light off. First snooping around, man. He's good at his job. He's got to make sure he's doing something. What the fuck are you looking at that book for like that? It's making me nervous, bro. Yep, yep, yep. There's nothing there, nothing to see. You don't like my Christmas tree? What's your name, son? My name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The, the android. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? I'm gonna smack the shit out of this kid if he gives us a... No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I better head out. Yeah, you don't worry about do the that. coffee. Have a nice evening. I was gonna fix it for you anyway. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Somebody else in the house? A draft. It must be a draft. I probably left a window open somewhere. Maybe it was a bear. Because on the quarry, it was always a bear. Bye, Mr. Officer, sir. Thank you for believing in me, Sam. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. I hope my nose don't start bleeding again. It's Rose. Oh, hello, Rose. It's always good to see you. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. It ends tonight. So. At this moment, I would have probably said, okay, that's it for tonight. But no, we're going to keep going. Because after this, I want to start playing Dragon Quest XI. And then we'll slowly go into Final Fantasy XVI once it's out. So we'll be probably switching back and forth that way. I'm not getting burnt out on just one game. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know they took Marcus's message. Yo, you can pin comments. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never I did not know you could do that. So, Sam, your comment would smash that house was Simon pinned by Jericho. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution. That's amazing. We'll always remember Sam for that comment. To fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough. Oh yeah, here's North Sam. This is who I want to smash as well. And now what are we going to do?
There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set up. Minka Kelly is sexy as fuck. Oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. I know her from Friday Night Lights. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. Free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Do I get to kill some more humans? Oh, baby, we famous! Who is it? The questions everyone's asking. Following the pirate broadcast in Detroit, everyone wants to know. Who is this android? A federal investigation is underway to track the machine down and neutralize it. But law enforcement is very tight-lipped about the details. We're famous. We're famous. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Yeah, we should do a quickie north. I mean, it's not very dirty. I mean, it don't look too bad behind a dumpster. Oh, wait, was my mic not muted when I said that? Shit. The store's over here. Free. This is how I'm going to recruit all of you guys to join me. I'm just going to lightly touch on your shoulder and tell you to join me. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. I believe it's called Jericho, not Jericho. Oh man, we can't recruit the little window androids. I'm trying to recruit everyone that I can. Because I want to take the human race down. I've been dreaming of this moment from the start of this game. You are free. I'll spare some humans. I'll spare all of y'all watching because I love y'all. We got some grave diggers. Can I not recruit them? Well, that sucks. We could use them to bury bodies. Can't recruit them. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Oh god, I hate time limits. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. 
And how do you want to do with the shop window? at a time. Okay, now what's next? See, I didn't do that the last time. We'll soon find out. And then I got caught. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Exactly what we need to ram the store. Marcus. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Appreciate everybody that's here and watching. If you haven't yet, feel free to say hi or you can continue watching. Um, if you haven't followed yet and you're enjoying watching stuff like this and uh, my great personality when I don't have my controller muted, feel free to follow.
We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Hey, fucking man, Marcus. You see the alarm system? Found it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Jericho, I'm recruiting all these people for you. think we're good to go yeah so we just gotta block the road that deviant model that we uh, got killed by. North model is uh, from a strip club. There. Nobody should bother us now. Now I think we're good. Okay, let's go get the truck. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Maybe we could take some sweet jumps in this thing. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Thank you. 
Hey, a Simon model. Did we recruit everyone? No. St oh, there's that model of her. No, she's she's like, what? <laughs> Let's get them out of here. So this way, if our North gets killed, we have a backup plan. Am I right? My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. Bro, I got some twins now. Hell yeah. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm 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 with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. The screens, Marcus! They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Fuck your benches! Yeah! Fuck your benches! Again. We're with you, Marcus. We're with you. understand. This 
is our world now! Free, brother. Yo, I forgot that one girl down there. Holy shit. <laughs> She's gonna be like, what about me, you fucking bastard? I think she broke out herself because she wasn't down there when I came back down. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Do you know what a hoss is, Frank? That's a pig. They don't frustrate. No crime against an android shall go unpunished.
We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> So I got the turf for a violent ride. So I did take the pacifist route in my last playthrough. So I gotta be really fucking evil this one to get my trophies. I gotta say, it feels fucking good being bad. If this was Jerrica's car, she would have a, uh, um, uh, um, a hula, a hula, uh, a Still boss, mortal, huh, a boss bobblehead or hula. In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Kinda looks like the dude that plays Alan Wake's human fucking model. Nice girl. An RT-600. Amanda. Amanda's fucking real. First Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet you. your maker, Connor. How's it feel? doesn't raise any existential questions if that that's what you mean sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him
glad you will see you now. Well, this is like a party for Sam in here. Holy shit. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. <laughs> 